Pastry genius Dominique Ansel is at it again. He just opened a brand new croissant counter in the front of one of his pastry kitchens. Today we are checking out Dominique Ansel workshop. Chef, today randomly on my phone your picture popped up and I thought it was listening to me and then I realized it was coming up because two years ago was the last time we shot together. It came up as a memory. Two years ago. Already. Where did the time go? I don't know. I think last year I just flew by for everybody. I know. Well, you've been super busy even though we haven't seen each other in a while. What have you been up to? Uh, what have you been up to? Uh, this new place, Dominic Council Workshop. And during the pandemic, you had one of your cookbooks come out. Yes, everyone can bake. Uh, it's uh, my new cookbook, Simple Recipes to Do at Home. Well, congratulations on the book and congratulations on the workshop. This is your test kitchen and tell me what's going on. Here. Yes, so this is our bigger uh, kitchen, our commercial kitchen. So here we produce for the bakery and for the workshop as well. I want to have a little uh, also kiosk croissant shop. So we have uh, an assortment of a croissants and what we call laminated dough. So dough that is layered with butter and, uh, and dough. <laughs> Why did you decide to go with croissants instead of all the other things you offer? That's a great question. So I grew up in kitchens uh, learning about croissants back in France. I, I, I thought there was always a craft that was like very novel, very uh, different than pastry. I want to do my own take on viennoiserie and croissants like. So here we are in the kitchen. This is where we make all the croissants, all the doughs. Is that just butter? This is just butter, yeah. It's probably about 150 pounds here of butter. And how, how long will that last you? Just for the day. 150 pounds of butter? <laughs> yeah. Let's not forget about this deliciousness. <laughs> this is the cookie shot. The cookie shot. I mean, one of the many genius things that you have invented. We got the Krona, the DKA, frozen, the frozen s'more. s'more. Genius. <laughs> So a croissant takes about three days to make. So this is the last step. So what we do, we hold it uh, with the left hand from the top, and we're gonna stretch it slightly, sliding into your hands. Okay? Then you're gonna bring it back right in front of you, and we're gonna push it forward, this way, this way. See, that's great. That's actually not that bad. Right? Good job. In, according to my standards. <laughs> So now this is rolled, it's gonna go into fermentation in a proofing box with the heat and humidity for about two hours. And then we're gonna bake it. And through the magic of television, they're done. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you see all those layers? That's the separation between the butter and the dough. So we're gonna get into it and we're gonna use all our senses. We're gonna listen. Smell the butter, smell the yeast, smell the fermentation. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Who needs lip gloss? I like butter. <laughs> and this is uh, garlic and rosemary with olive oil. Each one is a different adventure, mm -hmm. but all of them are incredible. Congratulations on Thank the workshop. You. This is amazing. It's Thank so you nice so to much. See you. Thank you. Nice to see you too.